Hello, the girls and the French girls. It's Dald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on this menu, I'll be serving you a look at next expansion. That's in two months, November second, and it's gonna be one of the biggest expansion in Pokemon ever. Yeah, but we're only gonna look at half of it. Explosive Impact. That's because it's actually three Japanese expansion. I'll add in one for November. Hey, that's a lot of cards. See, it's gonna have Fairy Rise and Thunderclap Spark as well. We're gonna look at these cards next week. Because there's a lot of them. I'm, I can't do it in all in one video. It's gonna be like an hour or two hour long video. So we're just gonna do Explosive Impact. Which is a lot of great cards that you probably, if you've been keeping up with news. Oh yeah, these cards are great. Let's see. Alright, so we're gonna rate them all. Five is like you're gonna go into every single deck. That's gonna be very few cards like that. Four... It could be very, very, very good. Expected, like, people will play these cards. And then three. Three is good. It's an, either a niche, like it's part of a combo, and anything that's two or one, uh, you probably don't want it. Two is like, it works, but I don't want to play it. it. It can work. It can work. And one is like, I should recycle this. So let's get started. All right. So here we go. Let's go start off with, what's our new Scyther? Oh, yeah, because there's a new scissors. We're gonna start off with Meganium. Oh, it's a long time since I've seen you, Meganium. Like, ever. It's not, you're not too popular. So, Meganium's effect is if you have one, you ha basically can evolve stage two Pokemons without having their second evolution, the stage one. It's basically free rare candy anytime you want. So, basic Pokemon to play, you got a stage two. Boom! It also allows you to cheat the turn where you have to wait. So the minute you put that basic down, boom, it evolves into a stage two. If you have that card. Yeah, it can get stage two out quickly, but what is the combo with? I don't quite see that. It eats up a lot of deck space and you have to still set it up, but it does make stage two come very quickly. So that power is something you want to keep you know, got to keep uh, your eye out. So I'm going to have to do experiment with this to see if this is actually good. For now, I want to give it three. I don't think it will see that much play. But it definitely has a powerful niche where you can make some big combos out. So we'll see if those actually exist to push it to maybe a four or something. Moving on, we're going to see Ari. Oh, let's see. Spinarak's important. Spinarak is important. Web Vanish. Your opponent is paralyzed, is poison, and automatic paralysis is big. Automatic always works, because your enemy can't move and retreat. Then it goes into the lasso, which combos with something later. So we'll give this a three, because it's part of a combo. Moving on, Ariados. Ariados is, I think it's going to be part of a two. Yeah, so the only good thing about this is his last attack is okay to charge up, and it has a two-hit KO. That's pretty much it. So, you probably won't be seeing this much, so we'll give it a two, even though you could make it work. Look at how sad it is. It just knows it's fate. So, moving on. Now, the combo I was talking about. Here we go. Hang on a second. Skip Loom. Ability! Once you evolve this, you can send the Hop Bip that evolves from and jump Skip Loom into the Lasso. Which means you can't play it for the rest of the game, but that is a good thing. We'll talk about it in a bit. Then... It's better evolution. Jump Luff goes onto the field and replaces it. So, what's good about Jump Luff? See, Jump Luff has a one energy attack that does 20 damage for every Pokemon in the Lost Zone. So, who, how do you get cards in the Lost Zone? Yeah, that's two cards in the Lost Zone. If Spinarak attack, that's one card in the Lost Zone, and it gives paralysis and poison. So, have you heard of Night March? Older players like, oh my gosh, Night March is coming back. I'm like, yes, Night Mar Lost March is coming. Lost March is coming. So, what's going to happen is if you have four Pokemons in the Lost Zone so, and a choice ban, you get two hit KOs for one energy. Yay, that's good. If you have eight Pokemons in the Lost Zone, so, that's a one hit KO with a choice ban. A basic GX. Oh, wow, that, that's kind of scary. Now, if you have nine in, in the. That, that means a lot of GX Pokemons will die one hit with the choice, man. So at once you build up that momentum, your opponents could be in trouble. So that's, oh yeah, last March, uh, it's going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. So we're going to put this card in the four category. 
because it's gonna be something you don't want to see again when you're playing this. So, I, I'm pretty sure there, there are enough cards to make this combo play out. So, there's gonna be a way to make it work. Moving on, Shuckles GX! Oh, our first five card. So, what does it do? For protective plot. If your opponent has two energies or less, Zorark GX, Garbodor GX, that new Lost March, Night March, then your opponent can't do any damage. Yeah, so it counters a lot of cards in the meta. Its attack type is colorless. You can put it in all your decks. And you should put it in all your decks because it counters a lot of these annoying cards. Now its attack is triple poison where if your opponent doesn't retreat, they take 90 damage. Yeah, for sure it's a guaranteed 90 damage. And its GX attack paralyzes them so they can't retreat. Which combos with the poison. So it's like, oh, you can't retreat, you can take 90 more damage. It's good. It's good. It's a good counter anti-meta card that it's like, hey, everybody can have this. Everybody can squeeze into our deck. Yeah, we're gonna put Shuckles in our deck. Five. Five. Moving on, Heracross. If you have a stage two, a big evolved Pokemon, it does a lot of damage. Actually, it's, let's call this a more budget attack. 30 plus 90 damage is 120. Straight to it KOs. Two energies is very good. And we're gonna, we might give this... I feel like it's gonna not see that much play. It's gonna be a, like a two, but it's it's energy cost is good. So we'll be nice to you, Heracross. We'll give you a three because it's you know, it's energy efficient. So we'll only give you a three, okay? You have a niche. You have a niche. That's a quick uh, non GX attacker that does you know, good enough damage. Moving on, Solby Prism Star. You're like, hmm. Well, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. In my, my opinion, that I'll save it. Time warp. Choose. Any of number of your evolved Pokemon and unevolve them, which sounds like I don't think I want to unevolve my Pokemon. But for some combos, you do Pokemon's with abilities that go off, such as Delkitty, uh, Rhyperior. You do want to unevolve them, evolve them again for the effect, like in Rock GX, for example. This combo is really, really specific, so it has a niche. We're gonna give it a three because there is a combo you can do with it. Other than that, you don't really want to do a second attack. Uh, it just does very low amount of damage. So it does is part of some combo. We're gonna give it a three. And now, oh yes, Typhlosion. A lot of good things about this. Look at his hit points. Oh yeah, for stage two. Thank you. That's one of the top. That's one of the best for stage two. Burning energy. The new improved version. Charizard. You gotta replace, man. Here we go. All energies are now fire energies. Whether they be grass in this. You know, lightning, double colorless. That's the big one, double colorless. Double colorless. And it affects all Pokemon. So say Salazzle GX. Every Pokemon in play that's yours will have fire energies no matter what they are. So this opens up a lot of combos because, hey, you can use tech from other, you know, energy trees that can get fire energies quickly. And they're all fire energies. This is a Big, big, big combo. Like, it opens up new doors. This could be a three, though. It might be even a four. We even seem finished talking about the card. You even forgot about it. It's attack. It is a two hit KO. That's very expensive. But two energies from your opponent, it's Pokemon, two of them, are permanently wiped from the game. You, They cannot recycle it. They cannot reuse those. So it is a powerful fighter. But mainly, it just opens up new doors, which, man... November, we're gonna show you how it's done. So, that's... It's a really good three. It's a really, really, really good three. Because there's a niche. Whether you see it a lot, it's not guaranteed with the, the four here. So moving on, we got the Hound Doom, Which, it's another efficient Pokemon. For two energies, if you have more cards than your opponent, that's oh, easy to do. You get a guaranteed two hit KO, 130 damage. That two hits most, almost all Pokemon. Hey, if you get to that Typhlosion, you just put double colorless energy on it. So, we see a lot. Mm, it's efficient. We're going to give it a three because it just does that two hits so efficiently and very easy to set up. So, if you really, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to see play a lot, but it has the ditch if you need a non-GX Pokemon that does two hits. Moving on, Entei, the basic version of Houndoom. So, it has more hit points, but it costs more energies you have to do a risky thing where both players discard the top card of the deck and if it's an energy it does 60 damage which pushes it 
into that 2-hit KO range. So it's much more riskier, more expensive. We'll give it a 2 because we probably won't ever see this card played that much. Moving on, even though, yeah, there's too much risk about that. Now, all right, Bless Cephalon GX. It's like Blast and Cephalon, which means kind of head in another language. So moving on, all right, basic. This is an Ultra Beast. Part of Ultra Beast combos, 180. And your, I think it's only Fire Ultra Beast. Yeah, it looks like a clown or something weird, but all right, we'll just let it be. It's a Pokemon, okay? It is a Pokemon. One energy. Bursting Burner, your opponent's now burned and confused. That's kind of annoying. Confusion's good. Your opponent probably won't try to attack your Cephalon with a confused Pokemon because it's going to hurt. And 20 damage from the burn is... It's okay. It's a good first attack for, you know, as far as first attack goes. You need to buy some time. It's very good at buying some time. Moving on, Mind Blown. Now, this is a finishing move. You're not going to want to fight with Blacephalon as your main Pokemon because here's what it does. You can discard as many Fire Energies as you want. Take Typhlosion and, and put it into the Lost Zone. Meaning you can't get those Fire Energies back. If you're doing this at the start of the game, you're going to not have energies to attack. But if you're doing this at the end of the game, it's like, ah, I need two more, four more prize cards or something. This will get you a one-shot kill. You have to discard four Energies anywhere. Actually, they're from your Pokemon, so yep, and you will probably get a one-shot kill with this, with the Choice Man. So, yeah, do this once or maybe even two times so you can get the win. Ah, okay, so, I mean, twice it costs eight, eight energies. Eight energies, so you probably, you know, maybe one time. Maybe one time for the win, and you use Burst GX to get you that final prize card. What? You discard one of your prize cards, so you're not taking it. But, you know, your prize cards are gone, your win condition is closer. And if it's an energy, then you can put it onto one of your Pokemon. Maybe you can town map and find out where that fire energy is. But basically, you're getting one extra prize card. So it's, I'm close to victory. This is what I need to win. That's why you can use a Blacephalon. So it has a niche three. It is, actually, we might give it a as a niche, you may start seeing in a lot of fire decks. You might even give it four. This might be a card where you want every fire deck to have. Your, I'm about to win. I'm going to use this. I'll give it a four. It has a potential to be in all fire decks. Moving on. Slowpoke, Slow King. So the big thing about Slow King is his memory loss. You, you look at your opponent's hand. You choose something there and it's permanently gone for the rest of the game. Oh yeah, for what energy? It has a combo with a certain unknown coming up. Same for that, moving on. Dillabird, first attack here. Happy delivery, choose all your bench Pokemons or as many you want, and put Poke Tools on them. Is this good for a certain combo? Pumpkaboo, Rotom, as well as Field Blower. It is part of a combo, it helps the current combo out, we are gonna give it a three. It has a niche. It has a good niche part of that combo. So moving on, you're like, oh, what are those? You gotta look it up. Moving on, we've done those before too. So, Manti, oh, you're two. You can't make this work, but there's nothing fun about it. It's boring. It works, but it's boring. It's gonna give it two. Suicune Chief X. Okay, it's a GX card. So let's take a look at that 184 GX basic. That's okay. Move on, fan to win. If this Pokemon is your bench, you can put it back to your deck. So all the damage counter on it, all the energies go back, and you're never gonna deck out. Because if you pull it in, put it on your bench, use the buildings, like ha ha! I'm never gonna lose this game if I deck it out. Well, yeah, your opponent can mill that last card and win, but if they're mill deck, they still, still, you, it does, it does kind of open something weird that shouldn't happen. It's like now you can avoid losing from decking out. All decks can do that. Leave it that. Let's just leave that. Moving on. Kira Stream 2 hit KO. Mm, there's something that's going to help out with this later. So 2 hit KOs. It's okay. A 3 energy attack should be a 2 hit KO if it has no penalties. It also shields your Pokemon, Suicune, by taking 30 less damage. It puts a debuff on your opponent. 30 less damage. Oh yeah, that kind of puts it into a stage uh, 1 GX level. It needed that, it needed that. So moving on, we see Brinsile GX, which this is the exact same thing as Glissopod's GX. You run away, you switch, you're wounded. You deny a prize card. Next turn, you can Phantom win and run away. So this is a kind of a stall Pokemon. Yeah, is it good? 
It has a niche. We're gonna give it a three. Will you put in all your water decks? Maybe, maybe not. You have a chance to be a four for if you part of some good combo. Some fancy win does open up certain things that we may see in the future. So, moving on, we're gonna move on to Tox Effects. If your opponent's poisoned, this does a lot of damage. 50 times the amount of damage counters. If it's wounded, yeah, this could be a good finisher. It's part of a gimmick. It's part of a gimmick. It can work what We're gonna do it once. It's probably not the deck you wanna go for. Uh, yeah, let's see. It has a good combo with the new uh, Shrine and Punishment Stadium. Yeah, now you have to find a way to get your opponent poisoned. On that same turn, and Venom Fever will finish it off. It's a gimmick deck. You're gonna make it work before one video, and you're never gonna touch it again. So we're gonna give it a three. Low three, because you can do something funny with this. Moving on! That's the only... Yeah, they said, oh my gosh, it's the only one water Pokemon. Oh, we can sort of go through. So there are very few here. We're gonna move on to Lantern. One energy! Any deck could use it. You get to get four items and put them back to your deck. Now, recycling items is hard. You actually could get Banana Master. I take it back. You could just put Banana Master, which puts it at the bottom of your deck. So, this eats up deck space. It does open up some small doors somewhere. It has a niche. We're gonna give it a three. We're probably not gonna see it much, so it might get somewhere for like a two. It's not, I don't think I'll ever use it. So, moving on there. Moving on, just keep it available though. Marie! If this thing's up front, we don't want your basic Pokemon to be. You can put your opponent's Pokemon to sleep. In which, uh, as your turn ends, there's a 50% chance that it wakes up. All right, so if it's up front, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it may open up some doors because of the automatic sleep that it puts on your turn immediately. Say something like a, like a Dark Rye would like this. Yeah, Dark Rye would love this. So it does open some doors. It has niche, and this is one of the basic Pokemons that evolves on has. Ah. Puts the status condition for free. Moving on, we're gonna go up to Ampharos. Mm. It's got enough hit points for stage two. You permanently destroy two lightning energies from your hand to get a paralysis. Permanently, they you can't use them again. That's pretty expensive. I mean, I yeah, that's pretty expensive to keep on using this, especially hey, the second time you said four energies are gone. Yeah, and Split Bomb does 50 damage to two enemies. 50 is kind of low. Two of anywhere as bench damage uh, might be okay. I think this may be a little bit too weak. Two under two, so we're gonna leave it there. I don't. We're gonna give this. I want to give this a two. It does have a niche though. It does have a very very small niche, but I don't see it being played much. So, uh, moving on, Raikou. Hey, has the combo with that other card that we just saw, Ampharos. If any lightning energy is in the Lost Zone, it has a 2 hit KO. Pretty efficient. Only probably works with Ampharos. No, there is something else that works with. And, you know, it's one of the cheap 2 hit KOs cards. We've seen plenty of that. We're going to give it a 3 as a niche card. It has some value somewhere in a certain deck. Moon not, not to. Oh, oh, your Night March card. I'm sorry, Lost March. Lost March! Double Colors Energy. And we've seen this. Jump Love had this. You get to do 20 damage times the number of Pokemons in the Lasso. Not Prism Stars. Those are too easy to put in the Lasso. So, yeah, you can. This is easy to hit KO. It will build into a one hit KO eventually, and it's a critical part part of that deck. Three big niche, or maybe a four if this thing is really, really popular. Which, I, I, I mean, Night March was popular. Maybe Lost March will be popular. We're hovering between those guys now. Zatu is like, oh yeah. We had Night March cards that didn't that evolved that just stunk. So this this is something you probably don't want to use. Moving on, moving on. It's, it is okay. It's like the put two category. If stats are good enough, I don't want to use it. Moving on, Espeon. One energy. Now this is something Leafeon had in the past. Old Plasma Leafeon. Energy Crush. 20 base damage. You add up all the energies your opponent has together. Depending what deck they're using, this is an easy one energy to hit KO. Sometimes even a one if your opponent is playing that sort of card of work deck. All right, so it has a niche. It is we're gonna give it a three and using this Espeon, yeah, you can expect consistent value for being a two hit KO, a weaker two hit KO Pokemon for one energy. All right, move it on. It, it has a good niche. All right, oh, Exodia cards. 
You can win the game by cheating the rules of Pokemon and having new win conditions. All right, so here we go. If you're, the first one is, if your Pokemons are all wounded, 66 damage counters on them, you can win the game. Can you pull this off? Yep. How? Weevil. Yeah. We're gonna pull up for one game, and that's probably gonna be it. So, then moving on. Uh, okay, this is, you can't make it work. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun deck to show you when the time comes. Uh, moving on, uh, next one, new win condition. If, if you have 35 cards in your hand, and your opponent say he doesn't play, and Judge, and it's gonna be gone. Judge and Illama's not gonna be as popular. So there are ways to counter this, but if you have 35 cards in your hand, which is very doable with the deck, you could do it in a couple turns. You win the game! Can you pull it off? Yep, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that in November. We'll show you how to do that. So moving on, another one, the final one, missing. If uh, your opponent has 12 supporters in the Lost Zone, Slow King was one of the combo. The Giraffe Rig we're gonna see is part of that combo too. If there are, your opponent has 12 supporters in the Lost Zone, you win the game. Can you pull it off? Yep! We're gonna pull it off. We're gonna see it. You're gonna see that in November for one game. Moving on, Wobbuffet disables Prism Star Pokemon. Which, okay, if this Pokemon's on your bench, no Prism Star, including your own, can attack or pretty much do anything. Has no abilities, can't attack. Ah. You know, Prism Star is only really one in the game. When you knock them out, they're permanently gone. They do have a bit of a restriction, so I don't see this being played much. I mean, it has, a, it has a niche. We'll give it a three. If there's just some powerful, powerful combo that could be blocked. Yeah, like Latios. Oh, Wobbuffet. That's going to be annoying. So moving on, Giraffe Lost Burial. Choose two of your opponent's cards from the discard. And it goes to the Lasso. Kind of like Lysander Prisms. Yep, and that helps you with the unknown win condition. And that's probably the only way you're gonna see it. So three as it has a big niche in a certain combo. Moving on, he leg O. This is four or five card. Nightcat, when well, your opponent's about to win, they have two prize cards remaining. You can choose any Pokemon of any of your opponent's Pokemon and use it attack. It can be on the bench, it can be a powerful GX attack. It could be one of the strongest attacks in the game. They got on their bench, you could use it for one energy. It's going to all your psychic decks. It's going on all your psychic decks. So that could be like a five or four level. It is a good card, a tech card, and you want to put it in all of your, the, those psychic decks. Moving on, Noggin' the Dell, baby version. Is this good? Oh, yes. Ability, charge up. You get a free energy from the discard onto this Pokemon. Is that going to help out in certain combos? Say Lunala, maybe just use it for itself. Beast Box, yes! At turning point, if you you have three prize cards remaining, this means you took out a GX Pokemon and a baby Pokemon, you can have a one-shot KO for 160 damage. Choice man, 190! And that gets out a basic GX Pokemon. Or Tapu Lele, one-shot KO. Yeah, and if it's not, I mean, you can just give it a choice man, and that's still a two-shot KO. And it's still okay stats for that. I mean, it's giving itself free energy, so this is a good card. We're gonna give it a three. It, it goes, it fits. Actually, we're gonna give it a four. This, if you're using a beast box that has Naga Dell, this will probably be in there. So this is a really high three here. And a four. It, it's part of it is a combo. So, uh, existing combo that works right now. So, the one, uh, we might give this a two or a one. It has low hit points. It requires that this card must be hurt. And its survival rate from one attack is pretty darn low. But if it does hit work, hey, one energy to it, KO. All right, so we don't think the pseudo is going to live one shot, so bye-bye. It's probably not going to see it anywhere. Don Fan! Hello, my Pokemon self. Okay, so this is good. I don't want to see this being played against me. This is good. This is good. If you're, this Pokemon is full HP, which it always starts with, and it's knocked out, it's like it's not knocked out. It has only 10 HP left. So it has a guaranteed, you know, pseudo high amount of hit points. Because either way, this as long as this ability is working, you can't one-shot the 
And this is big. It has the same life expectancy as a stage 2 GX Pokemon. And this is good because Rolling Spin requires two hit to get a KO. 70 damage. Next attack, it does 140. Add those together, that's a one-shot KO. One-shot KO, and it, it just has a ridiculous combo. I do not want to face a Don Fan deck. This here is like a 4 to a, you know, 5 is like everything, but 4 as a, this is good. This is really, 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 really good. Thank you, Don Fan. Moving on, Hitmonk Top, you're a one card. You somehow just got very low stats that are much below average than any other Pokemons in the game. There's a nice little bench swap effect. You like you switch to a Shuckles or something. I guess maybe that you could do that. Huh. 30 damage and you can swap. No, your opponent's. Never mind. You got a one. You got a one. No, uh, just you should recycle this card. Lavatar and oh, you know you as well. This weird basic Pokemon that's actually okay. Not that one. This one. Second strike. Double goes energy. If your opponent's wounded, it has a two-hit KO. Oh, and you become a Tyranitar, so you know, you're pretty good. You're pretty good, basically. He's like, yeah, you have one of these in your bench. You could kind of put it into every deck, but you probably don't want to. Move it on, Pupitar, Pupitar. Anyways, when you evolve this, it puts a Diva, a curse on your enemy Pokemon that they do 50 damage less. So you can safely evolve into Tyranitar next turn, and it has a good chance of survival. Your opponent has to do 130 damage. 20. 120 damage to get a KO, but then you have a half dead Tyranidar or something, but it, it does help it evolve. So, it only protects itself though, so be careful about that. Tyranidar will get to an event. This is a dark Pokemon. It could be fighting, but this time it's a dark. Moving on, Alola Meowth. Oh yeah, this is one of the new alone Pokemon that gets you a free to it KO. So, the first one version is actually good. Meowth, if you go second, do 60 damage. If you have a choice, man, do 90 damage on a GX book one for free. Is this good? Yeah! Three definite niche. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it in a lot of my decks. Uh, Lola Persian. Bluff does 90 damage for free. Now it does 30 less for every energy on your opponent. So if they got an energy card, ah, uh, 60. 60 is okay, but when you get to 2 and 3, that gets a lot of zero. Yeah, so it is, it has a niche. I'd probably be using it. So we're gonna give it a three. It's a pretty good niche. And if you give it a choice, man, attack, say something that no energies, you can get a half, you can halfway kill a GX Pokemon with this. Yeah, that's on the bench. Definitely, definitely, definitely pretty crazy. Definitely could be useful. So moving on to Umbreon, a revenge move. If one of your po one of your Pokemon died, ah, you get a two hit KO for one energy. It's efficient, it works enough. I don't see it being played much, but it, you can use it. We're gonna give it a three as a niche. It might fall into a two because of its, you know, very specific niche, and you might not want to put deck space for this. We're gonna give it. We're gonna give it. I'll be nice to you. You're gonna get a three, man. You have a niche. Moving on, Tyrandar GX. Wait. Shouldn't. Yeah, Pupitar was a little bit higher. Pupitar, Tyrandar, Tyrandar GX. Ability when you knock out Pokemon with this. Your opponent cannot use it for the rest of the game. It goes in the loss zone. Bye bye. You're not coming back. All their energies, all those Pokemon. That's gonna do something. That is gonna do something. So it hurts your ability, your opponent's ability to recycle their cards. Very powerful deck. Look at these energy costs. Three. Oh yeah, Lola Marowak. You can easily, easily charge. It's a vicious sandstorm. To it KO. Does not need a choice, man. You can give it a choice helmet, which we'll talk about later at the end of the video. 30 damage to all your bones basic bench Pokemon, so they get weakened up, softened up. This is a sick three hit uh, <coughs> normal and attack. And let's take a look at this GX. 220 damage, that's a one hit KO with a lot of Pokemon. Pierces through any special effects they have, and it's pretty much a one shot KO. And lost out, they can't use it for the rest of the game. We'll give you four. Your stats are just good. It's good. You're gonna be very doable in stage two GX. Easy fun time with you. All right, moving on for Retris. All right, you saw the Pinko at the start of the game. Now here's what it does. Three energies, it goes into the Lost Zone. Are you thinking this could be good part of the Lost combo, but then you have to charge it with three energies, and those energies are permanently lost. 
So you lose five cards that go to the lasso, and he's like, maybe I should just charge up my uh, Dust Mate Necrozma. Or Soguleo GX. That thing would probably do three energies better than this card. And it doesn't really combo with the Lost Zone because, hey, three energies. Uh, maybe is. You still need to charge up your Lost March Pokemon, so I don't think it's a good fit. It is a one shot KO, but I still don't think it's a good fit. Moving on. Scissors. Baby Scissors. We have Scissor GX with baby version. It has Exoskeleton. 30 less damage from attack. Hey! 150 hit points practically for stage 2. That's pretty good. That's pretty much stage. I'm sorry stage 1 It pretty much has stage 2 level defense special blow if your opponent has a special energy It does a straight two shot This is not gonna be guaranteed, but uh, if it doesn't have a two shot give a choice man It's kind of a two shot. It's very niche, but if you're running a state uh, scissors GX deck you can squeeze this in there We'll give it a three you probably would make a scissors maybe scissors deck, but it has a niche somewhere. Moving on, Azumaru. Now, this is like a Lola Marowak, but you have to give it an energy. Look at the next eight cards. Find all energies, special energies, any energies. Put them onto your Pokemon. Randomish, cost energy. I would still be using the Lola Marowak to do this. That works for everything for free. So, but it has a niche. We're gonna give it a three for Fairy Dex. And Fairy Dex, like, you know, we don't need you. We can go to our GX. We got Lola Marowak and other stuff too, so. All right, you might you might not get hired anyway. It might be a two. So moving on, moving on. Snubble. Remember Slow King? You gotta look that up. The Snow Energy Slow King deck we made. We're gonna go reverse engineer it. Make this deck work. Where? Dead broke. You got no cards in your hand. It does 160 damage. Choice spin. One shot KO. On basic GX Pokemons. How do you do that? Look up Slow King. Look at my Snow Energy Slow King deck. If it worked for that, it's gonna work for this. And that was pretty recent. So, moving on, chancing. Ability! You don't have to worry about special conditions for the rest of the game. You remove only one, but that probably is good enough. Paralysis, everything. Yeah, we're not gonna see that many special condition decks in the meta. Because we're not that no, no, popular. So, but it does. Hey, this hit points, that's a stage two level. Wow! And powerful slap. Flip a coin for every energy. 80 damage each, so two of them is 160 damage. Choice man that starts one-shotting basic GX Pokemon. Three is like everything dies, so expectedly you're gonna need about four energies, like two double colors. And you know it's a colors. You can put it into any deck and whichever, whichever like metal has a lot of ways that you can put fast energies. You can squeeze into it whichever energy type works best to give lots of energies. So three niche. And a fun deck to pull off, so we're gonna see it. Three, three, three for next expansion. So hang on a second. Alright, so let's move on to new Eevee, which is not as good as the current Eevee. It's like if you need an evolution, just use this. I, I hope that, that the current Eevee we have stays in the rotation, because we need that instant evolution for our Eevees. We're on Stantler. Another easy, uh, efficient to it KO. Give it a double colorless energy, give it a choice man that has a 2 hit KO on GX Pokemons. And good enough hit points. We'll give you 3, you're a niche. You probably fit better than those other colorless or colored uh, Pokemons that have the similar effect. Moving on! Smeargle! Perfect likeness! You get to look at your opponent's hand! You get to choose support like a, uh, you know, Sycamore's not gonna be here. Lily, Cynthia, and use it to help your own card pools. Yeah, so you would probably never ever use this. That's a, it has a niche. You could pull it off. We'll give it a two. You can use it. You can make it work, but you're probably not going to use any deck space for this. Or energies. Moving on. Moving on. Milk tank. So, milk cannon. Show all your Mumu milk cards, which we'll look at the end. It's basically a potion. And show it to your opponent. This attack does 60 damage for everyone revealed, so if you have all four, that's a one-hit KO. Three, give it a choice to me, that's a one-hit KO. Two, that's a two-hit KO. Energy, it's a colorless. You can use whichever energy acceleration source from any different type that you know, helps it out. Yes, can you milk it, make a mill tank deck work? Yes, that's gonna be a fun one-time deal. And it's gonna be cheesy, but it's gonna be funny when this works. So mill tank will give you three, you're totally doable. I don't think you're gonna be popular. But you're totally doable. So moving on, moving on. Lugia GX. Ooh, Lugia Colors GX. 
Psychic. This is a non-consistent to it KOs. It does 30 damage times the amount of energies on your opponent. Plus the base 30. So you're trying to gun for a two shot with this. Hopefully it'd be attacking your, your opponent's card that has energies. With a choice, man. Yeah, you can get two hit KOs on this. Now the one hit KO is the four energy one. It's like, wow, that's expensive. Now two double codes energy cards is not that hard to do. Choice, man. One shot KO basic GX. It just needs 10 more to get stage one. So you, depending on which deck you're using it with, what other helping text you can get one shot KOs and you can't use it again the next turn so it's it's kind of like a buzz wall a little bit more expensive a little bit more damage same amount of hit points it just depends on uh, what you're taking this with so you're high three you're very very high three you've been giving every card three because they have they have a purpose you can't make them work they're there that's good so you're seeing less too so that is, that is a good thing and GX attack forces your opponent's Pokemon and all cards, all energies, all Poke tools to disappear. You don't get a prize card, but if it's a really expensive card that's really teched up, that could be pretty big. I mean, you have a purpose, you have a niche somewhere, we're gonna give you a three. Maybe a four. It has, you can work yourself to a four, Lucia GX, so moving on, moving on. We got two cannon, I'm sorry. Trumbeak, this is important. This is only a stage one, but. Remember Lost March? Mountain Fairy, you can put in the Lost Zone. Hey, 20 more damage for Lost March. Look at your opponents, and you can look at the top card of your deck. If a supporter, it goes to the Lost Zone, so you can destroy a draw supporter or a Guzma or something. Yeah, you will need this for your Lost March deck. So this is going to be a, I don't know. Might be a three to four. If Lost March is good, it's going to be a four. I think it's going to be good. So we're going to, we're giving it a four here. Moving on, and hey, if you uh, want to fight with this, two cannon, three energies, 160 base damage, choice span, 190. What's the penalty? You can't do it on your first turn, you evolve it, which could be big. But hey, you can at least do Heat Beak, that's a kind of a two hit here. 70, uh, 60 damage, choice span that, oh, 90 damage. Yeah, oh, no, no, that's not, that's not right. 80 damage, so it's... It has the damage to one-shot GX Pokemon. You gotta be scared of it if your opponent somehow sets this up. Three, three, you're there. You're there, React Hammer. Oh, you can only use this one turn in, in the entire game. This, if you're going second, then you can use this to remove that one energy that your opponent may have attached. It's gonna be pretty big, I suppose so, but you know, you need, you need four to make it consistent and after that it becomes junk for the rest of the game. Probably don't see it much. It has a niche though. We're gonna give it a low three to almost a two. That we might not ever see it. Uh, okay, these are all reprints. We all have these cards. So this is the Moo Moo Milk card, the potion. Flip two coins, heal 30 damage each. Sometimes does nothing. Most of the time heals for 30 damage like a potion. Sometimes heals like a super potion, 60 damage. But you're probably only gonna use it for that mill tank combo. So that's what the card actually is. You might not even, well, you need it for the combo, so it's a three as a niche for that particular deal. Uh, Lost Mixer. Remember Lost March? How do you get Pokemon to the Lost Zone? Use this. Put two cards from your hand to the Lost Zone. Pokemons. And it boosts that Lost March damage by 40. And that's why you would want to use this. Then you get an extra card. You need a part of that combo. That combo, if that deck actually becomes good, Night March was good, it could be a very, very high deal. It's part of the combo. Choice Man, we know that is Choice Helmet. This is very good because this is the new neutral card that you want to put in for Pokemon that are just stuck in that two hit KOs. Think Tyranidar. Yeah, think Suicune. They're not going to get one shots. They don't want choice bands. They want this 30 more damage reduction against GX Pokemon. So that's pushing them to stage two, stage one GX levels. And this could be good for like a uh, Tapu Coco GX. Yeah, it's like I got a two shot. I don't got a one shot anywhere. Four to five. Probably a five because it works. You really gotta put those for those certain Pokemon that I talk about. It's a very critical big card that's gonna be in. Uh, you know, we're gonna see it at a tournament somewhere. We'll give it a five. Moving on! Fairy Charm! You put this into Fairy Pokemons and your opponent's Grass GX can't hurt them. Is Grass GX popular? We won't know, but if it is, then you're gonna at least want one of these because it prevents all damage done. 
is a pretty powerful Poké Tool to them, and you would want that if Grass Pokémon are dominant, which we don't think they will be. You got Niche 3, Whitney! Alright, so here's how it works. The first Whitney you play will have one one draw. That sucks. You don't want to play that. You want to discard it with an Ultra Ball or somehow just discard your first Whitney. Second one, it becomes a How. You get three. Three draws. So that's one Whitney in the discard pile. Alright, and then if you have two of them, that's, wow, five carpools, no consequences. Yeah, that's when it starts to get good. And then, oh man, three of them in the discard. You get seven. Yep, seven carpools. Seven carpools with that last and final Whitney. Could this work for every deck? Maybe. You get a lot of powerful carpools towards the end of the game, but what you really need at the start of the game. So, we'll see. We'll see. We might give this... We need to test this out. I want to give it a three, but it has a high chance of being a card that with the support that you can put in every single deck. So... Well, you need all four of them to make it work. It's hard. It's a hard call on this one because it has potential. So we're we're giving it like a 3.5 here. Moving on, Professor's Elm Lecture. Bridget. This is the more uh, tuned, balanced version of Bridget. So you get us uh, three Pokemons, which is 60 HP or less, and put them into your hand. It's your hand. So if you're using, you know, a certain GX deck that evolves from 60. Yeah, you're gonna need this. What this? What this? We want one of this to open up with your Tapu Lele with. A uh, moon of Faba. Oh yeah, you know, Field Blower is a little bit strong right now. It kind of makes nice things like Wish Baton be useless. So this is good. It's now a supporter card where you can remove a special energy, double colorless, Poke Tools, Choice Bands and stuff, which is not too important, and Stadiums, and put them into the Lasso. Ha! You can't use that Poke Tool for the rest of the game. Yes, that's why Field Blower is not getting print. We don't want to see another Field Blower card because that just kind of ruins the combos way too hard. Run really, how? All right, we're gonna have a how. We're gonna have one of these cards for the rest of the entire game as we live. We never. Its throughput is kind of low. That's why it's not as popular. We still. Wow, Lily. Well, you're gonna be able to use Lily for the rest of well for, for a very long time here. Prism Star, Luzamine. This is a five for beast decks. Four for beast decks are gonna be popular. You're gonna see prisms. It's a good card, it's a good card. What does it do? If your opponent has three prize cards remaining, say a buzzwall deck. Oh, they took out your buzzwall. Oh, they took out your baby buzzwall. Now, the next turn, you prevent all damage done from to your ultra beasts. So this cuts your opponent's momentum. They can't kill your Ultra Beast? Great! It's like a GX move! You will need this in all your GX decks. Uh, Ultra Beast decks. So, it's very powerful. It's great. It is great. You're gonna... Alright, so losing me. Next up, Heat Factory! The better Scorch Earth Stadium. You can only have one. And when you have this available, you discard a fire energy and get three more cards. Are you gonna want to do that most of the time? Yeah! Yeah. And it combos with a lot of fire strategies that require energies to the discard. So, alright, so you can only have one though. It's gonna be a little hard for your opponent to discard this because they need an actual stadium card. Which currently is kind of tough uh, to uh, most decks with field blowers instead of lots of stadiums. So, it has a high survival rate. You'll be able to keep this in probably for a couple of turns unless you're unlucky. Moving on, finally the last new card of this memory energy. This is good. It counts as a colorless energy, and you, Pokemon, could use its previous evolution's attack, which could be pretty good. The, some of them have very good ones, such as, say, uh, we'll use the example that we currently looked at, which is Tyranidar, Pupitar. Yeah, Tyranidar, I don't got three energies. I'll just use this, and this could pull off a lot of damage. So, would this fit in a lot of decks? Yes, it opens up a lot of good combos. For those specific decks, I had them on my top of my head, but you'll be seeing this. We'll give this three a good niche. And finally, we're done. You want to talk about Fairy Rise and Thunderclap? It's like, I don't got enough energy to keep talking about this, so I'm out of gas. So this is part of the November expansion set. Only half of it. We'll talk about the other ones later. Yeah, only half of it. All right, you want to talk about Lola Barowak today too? Sure, why not? So... 
Alolan Radicate was similar to this. It's a promo card in Japan. But it just suddenly appeared in our expansion, so probably may come earliest is next year. It'll probably come next year somewhere. What does Alolan Marowak GX do? Here we go. Cursed Body. If anybody attacks this, they're confused. Which means if you do not want to attack when a confused Pokemon, it's a strong free effect. What on Heat Bone! 90. Burn, that's a two-shot KO for a reasonable energy cost. That's what stage one GX should do. Great. You're you're on par. Free GX. 50 damage to two enemies. If they're wounded, yeah, it's a good finishing move, and the Pokemon is knocked out. If you get a kill with this, you get to put that Pokemon and everything that it has into the loss zone. They can't get it back! And you also get prize cards. So it's a dang, that's a pretty strong free GX card. Free GX attack. Moving on, Slopo, uh, Cubone. These are all promos that you don't really care about. Uh, Meowth. Oh, those React Emmers you can't use? They now become two free cards. Ah, if you if you really want to bank on those React Emmers, they eat up a lot of deck space. This is one way to recycle them. It's, it's tough. React Emmers only. It's a weird card. However, if you know you discard React Emmer and they become those two draws. That's actually not too bad. That makes that combo more usable. Three as a niche. We have been rating these. What do you get? You can be in your deck in your own. I don't think you'll be popular, but you can get a deck in your own. You'll be a high three, man. You'll be a high three. Moving on, Latios and Latios, they're both twos. Because you're never gonna use them. They're just are too expensive. They're boring. You kinda can make them work, but they're boring. We're gonna skip them and move on to the energy spinner. What is this? You get to look at your deck for basic energy. Usually decks have all the same type of basic energies and put it to your hand. And if you go second, you get three basic energies for, which means for one single turn becomes a very, very powerful card. And uh, for the rest of the game, it becomes a deck thinner. And for some reason, if you don't want those straight energies directly, you could use energy spinner. And dual type, triple types, energies, decks, they don't work. Only in theme decks that Pokemon tries to make that work. So, moving on, that is it for today's Explosive Impact Reveal video. There were a lot of powerful cards here. There were a lot of worthy cards that just shipped the game. The Shuckles is probably the best, the one I'm thinking of most. And, uh, yeah, that is that. Alright, that's for November. I am totally out of gas now. So, for now, thank you. It'll grow some friends. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Alright. Dang, how long was this, man? <laughs>